and welcome back to Chronically Beautiful, where we are trying to live our best life, even though we probably don't feel like it. So what we're going to share today is how to make the ultimate first aid kit. So we're going to go through every item in the kit, and uh, let's just dive right in. First, we're going to talk about the actual first aid kit itself. I am just using a caboodle. Caboodle! Um, any teens of the 90s, what up? Definitely remember Caboodles. Uh, they were like a must have item for your makeup, your Bonnie Bell lip smackers, and your sparkle glitter roll on. Definitely lived in this caboodle. Good. You could also use any kind of a bag. I like this because it opens like a toolbox so you can actually see everything that's in it rather than having to dig down into a bag. Um, and also a little toolbox would be great for this as well or a little tackle box, something like that. Now let's talk about what's inside. So I'm just going to go through each item that we keep in here. And uh, some of these items might not be anything that your family needs. This is what works for us. <laughs> of course, in the first aid kit, we have band-aids of all shapes and sizes, as well as some gauze pads. We have one ice pack that's like the pop-and-go kind. This is a cold pack. Give me that. You have to break it into your bag. That is um, disposable. This one feels kind of cold. But it's still pop. Okay, I think it's okay. Shake contents to bottom of bag. Locate inner pouch and squeeze. It's possible, this feels really a little cold. I may have popped this when I was shaking this caboodle around just now, we'll see. Along with the different band-aids, I also keep um, the, the antibacterial towelettes, as well as some little mini first aid ointments. And these are like a grab and go kind of thing. If we're going on a day trip, I would grab these because I also keep a full size thing of Neosporin in here as well. Little pack of Kleenex, thermometer, First aid tools, we got some tongue depressors in here, gigantic safety pin, some um, athletic or medical tape, as well as some rubber gloves, and a pair of tweezers. Brand new unopened Carmex chapstick, medical scissors, little to-go packs of some medication, airborne packets, hand sanitizing wipes. We also have a little mini first aid guide. We do have an extra thing of sunscreen in here, very thick medical tape, just in case we need to cover a very large wound. Some children's Mucinex cold and flu. And then we have a whole little packet here that is um, labeled. I wrote it in pen, it's hard to see, but it does say allergy, cold, and sinus. So we keep all those in there. If there's anything in here from Allegra D to um, Tylenol cold. We've got Dayquil, NyQuil, um, Sambacol all kinds of every little thing you can imagine. I have Antivert in there, which is um, motion sick, it's an antihistamine. I have another little packet that just has Benadryl in it. I do keep extra plastic bags in there just in case. This is a whole pack that just has pain relief. So we have Motrin, Advil, Excedrin, Advil migraine. Um, those are the pain relievers that we use most. And I do kind of clean this out and rotate these things out every time we travel. So it doesn't get used on this trip. I'll just rotate it into my purse meds. So I have a mini version of this kit in my purse, which mostly just has stomach, sinus, and headache kind of stuff. So I'll rotate this into our everyday thing so they're not sitting in here going bad. I have hand sanitizer, packet of Tums, cough drops, Hydrogen peroxide, very important for cleaning wounds. And this one's really nice because it comes with a spray cap. I buy these at the Dollar Tree. I really like the one with the spray and it's only a buck, which is awesome. Heat wraps, and then also some hand, oh no, these are foot warmers, um, but actually you could use them as hand or foot warmers actually. So both for use as a heating pad if we don't have access to plugs. This is something that we actually bought for the dog last year. It is liquid bandage for small cuts and wounds and you just paint it onto the wound that you have. She got her tail shut in the car door a couple of years ago and we took this on a trip because we were going on a beach vacation and we had to keep the wound closed. But this is actually really nice to have for people too. A whole little packet of stomach meds. We have nausea in here, gas X, gas Strex. Um, there are some Pepto-Bismol tabs. If you want more information on my top ways to battle nausea, I will link that video. I'll put it in a card 
up above, but there's all kinds of info about that stuff. Some chloroseptic spray, sore, sore throat spray, good old fashioned ace bandage. More Tums, these are minty, the other ones are fruity. Little cups for taking medicine. Nasal saline gel, which is if you get a dry nose, bloody nose, I had a bunch of samples, so I threw that in there because my husband and I both get bloody noses. Just a couple of cotton swabs. And then we also keep all of these types of items in here. Oh, one of these leaked. We have eye drops, Tylenol, pain cream, it's like Ben Gay or Icy Hot, Riva in case somebody gets a cold sore, um, a Bennett something leaked really grossly in here, ew. Um, but a Benadryl itch stick, which is really handy for all the bug bites you get when you're out and about. Oral pain relief for toothaches. Fixident, which seems like a funny weird thing to have in your first aid kit if you don't wear dentures. But I have a few crowns, and my husband does as well, and I have actually flossed a crown right out of my mouth before, and it was like the scariest, weirdest, grossest thing to feel my awful little nub of a tooth underneath it. So I never, I always keep this in the kit just in case, because you don't want to deal with that situation on the road. Um, this is a monostat cream. I don't often, in fact, I can't even remember the last time I had any kind of issue, but it's just an external cream in case you're having some discomfort. It's just important to have when you've got women on the trip. A prescription anti-itch cream that one of the kids had. We also have some azo, which is in case somebody gets a urinary tract infection. So there's about enough in here to deal with the beginning of anything major that might happen on a trip to, to make it so you don't have to run to the store. Um, and like I said, I rotate through this stuff so that it's not going bad. You have to make sure that you're keeping inventory of what's in there. We use a lot of painkillers at our house. I use a lot of stomach meds at my house, in, in, you know, in my daily life. So I, I go through this stuff no problem. Um, and then I keep a smaller version of this, like I said, in my desk drawer, in my car, in my purse. I don't go anywhere without pain meds and stomach meds. Um, or my essential oils. Now those are not in here, but I do take a little essential oil pack with me when I travel as well in case we need any of that in our healing. So I hope that this helped you and it might be something that you could use in your travels with your family. If you think that there's something that I should include into my kit that isn't here already, I would love it if you put that in the comments below. And while you're there, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please subscribe. Tell your friends. I would love to have you and your people come and be a part of me and my people. Don't forget to ring the bell also so that you are notified of all my future uploads. And I'm really glad that you came on this adventure with me today. Keep coming back. Take care of you.